Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Crosswords Live. It's a beautiful day for a crossword. Let's play to uh, welcome back my solving partner in crime, Sam Mazursky. How you doing, Sam? Good to be here, Deb. We had a, a week off this past Thursday, and I missed our Crosswords Live. So I did. I double the fun today. I missed our, our solving buddies. You know, I, I, uh, I'm glad we're all back because it's always better when you solve together. Always, <laughs> always, I'm, always. I'm a total cliche monster today. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have a really good puzzle today. It's a debut uh, by Simeon Siegel. I'm always impressed when someone debuts in the New York Times on a Thursday, Sam. Yeah, that was... um. This is a particularly, that was the first solo puzzle was a Thursday. It's always exciting to see on the editing side, some crazy ideas from a byline you've never even seen before. And, right. um, Mr. Sagel's work here today, I mean, is a textbook case of that. This is a wild Thursday idea that should be a first time thing for many solvers, I think. I, I think so too. Um, if you uh, have not seen this trick before, please hang in there. I'm going to spoil something ahead of time. You'll notice that we do not have the rebus key visible today on today's puzzle. Uh, no rebuses. No nope. rebuses. Kimberly nope. number two says, good afternoon. Nice mug, Sam. <laughs> Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. I went for a different mug today. I'm having tea because I'm already jacked up on coffee. So oh, only a man. little more caffeine. You're just a little bit more. You just just enough to top you off, right? Mm -hmm. No candy today. So I won't oh. be too off the walls. See, we're gonna have to wait until Halloween again and I'm gonna have to <laughs> you know. We're gonna have to go to the building further. for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll feed myself this time. Okay. Um anyway, this I, I Really had trouble getting started in this puzzle, Sam. I uh, yeah. wasn't sure why. Not a lot of filled blanks, huh? Are there any? No, no questions oh, today. Oh, wait, wait. Carne, I know that one. That's carne asada. Carne asada. Carne asada. All right. There we go. We're in. One fill in the blank. Those We're in. always help us, right? I think so. And not only that, but we also rely very much on your help. So if you are listening or watching today, put your guesses in the comments and help us solve this because the more heads we put together the faster this will happen uh, there's also i mean i'd say we while there isn't a fill in the blank clue here sometimes there are names that you just know right Deb? Oh, I, I know you talked yeah. about this and how to solve a crossword in like four down i knew that one right off the bat oh yeah there you go oh yeah george's lyricist brother there were two brothers george and ira gershwin they were known for writing rhapsody in blue which is one of my favorite semi jazz pieces there we go a nice thursday-ish clue for ira rather than just saying you know lyricist version and there's also, I mean, two down here as well uh, um, well oh yes Good old, Hoda. Good old Hoda. Uh, Krishna Prasad says, I haven't been this clueless in a Thursday puzzle, even though I'm a new solver. That's okay, Krishna. If you are a new solver, this is not an easy puzzle. Uh, the fact that you came here for help is a great sign, and I hope that uh, we can all solve it together. And uh, also, yes. I was sorry, I was just going to say that don't worry about feeling so clueless yourself as the puzzle is a little more clueless than usual. Too. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, there are four answers in this puzzle. 35 across, 43 across, mm -hmm. 42 down, and 50 down just of these dashes, which means right. no clue in Crossroads. There's just now, not a clue here for these answers. If you are a new solver, you might not have seen that before. Usually what it means... And this is going to spoil it a little, but it's important to know this because people tend to panic when they <laughs> Which is okay too. in their clues, um, is that that clue with the dash is a continuation of something else. Indeed. So let's go with that for now. We have Bruce Giordano uh, putting in a couple of uh, shorter answers. <clears throat> Excuse me. 44 across is ale. Many a craft beer is ale. Right. And 19 across is was. There once there was once a was. crossword columnist named Deb. Oh, God, you know what? That really lends itself to a limerick. I don't want to hear there what There are a lot of limericks you can make that start with that. 
there once was an intern exam. Let me just already tell. Uh, so yes, and Kimberly too, too is saying, "Ha ha, clueless." Uh, <laughs> Rev. Mike Cohen uh, agrees with was at nineteen across, and Kathy O is with us today, and she Kathy. says, "Hi, Kathy. Eighteen across is." Believer and holds her head down in shame. I love that that's going to be a throw in for some that you're like, oh no, this is a throw. Why do I know this so easily? You know, I, I have to say, thing. in reading the comments on wordplay today, um, I would say we're about 50 50 between people who had never heard of Believers as Justin Bieber fans and 50% who knew it but were highly ashamed. Oh. <laughs> so. here's my way in deb 13 oh middle you know, finger with it's the. such a relief to me that all the fingers finally have names exactly, you know right. we've got the thumb we've got the pointer we've got the bird we've got the ring the finger ring finger and we got the index yes that's right exactly. <laughs> we that entire crossword themes based on that oh um, absolutely not not with bird of course but <laughs> we just say yeah. middle is one of the theme answers Bruce Giordano is flipping the bird at us. Oh, and, uh... I, we, we, we won't stand for that. No. Um, speaking of Stan, music holder oh. before cloud storage. Very clever, Sam. It was actually uh, unintentional. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, was, that, was, that was fortunate. Those are the best kind. Uh, the music holder before cloud, well, before you could put things up in the cloud, we did have MP3s, but it's a longer... It's a longer answer than that. <laughs> Three. I can't get it to work, honestly. But this one's tricky because we're weirdly not actually looking for, you know, the iPod. Right. Or the, the, the actual device itself, but the holder of all the music that you could right. collect before the cloud. So I, I would say that if they're saying before, there's prob it's probably a stand of some type. Yep. And then what did we have before iPods and the like? Got to be CDs. CD we only have two places left. That's fun a pretty answers cool. in a crossword, right? Yeah, I, I like, like it. a stack of these two, honestly. So what do we have here? Blank, blank, EC. Sometimes just the letter pattern will be oh, enough yes. for you to go, oh, I think I can figure this out, right? Well, before I had that, before I had Belieber and CD stand, I tried to put in NATO and that didn't work. So not I quite. Think, now that I see the E and the C, I'm thinking it's got to be OPEC. It is OPEC. And right. honestly, that's a perfectly, perfectly cromulent guess you tried there with NATO. That's yes. why we got to use our crossers. That's why we don't do it on a Thursday sometimes. You never know. Cromulent. Yep. Um, <laughs> How about this? This one, I just want to show this clue now, not expecting anybody to get this because I quite love this clue. Shout right. out to the diabolical Mr. Faliano for coming up with this one. Uh, um, he's a history geek like I am, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, you just like the little bit of wordplay here. I mean, what, oh, yeah. what TV show could this be? Pilot well, in 1969 to 600 million people. I think the use of the word pilot here is particularly brilliant because uh, a pilot could be the first episode of a television show mm -hmm. or it could be somebody who pilots an aircraft of some type. Exactly. So, so we have people who are actually making other guesses, but about 600, I wanted it to be I Love Lucy, but that was way <laughs> after they finished, it's 1969. But the 1969 was the year of, of the Apollo 11 space launch. Oh, well, so I like that we, idea, but Apollo 11 you, doesn't really fit, does it? It doesn't, not if you spell it out E-L-E-V-E-N. However, if you use Roman numerals, it would fit. So Apollo X I. Nice. I mean, this is just a bonkers looking answer. I have to tell you, as a solver, one of my personal sweet spots is uncovering answers like these. They're not for everyone because they're extra crunchy. But yeah. I think it's just interesting to see some weird letter patterns like something that ends I in L O X I or C D S T. They're exciting filth. Yeah, very much so. In fact, I think with that X there, it makes it very easy to solve 12 down, which would be, they work as a team, oxen. 
Oh, that's not us? In no, well, we work as a oh. team too, but luckily the times doesn't make us wear yokes. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and then we've got the gluten-free noodle variety. That's right up my alley. That's got to be soba. That's soba. Yeah. It's important to be soba for Crosswords Live. Otherwise, I'd be talking <laughs> way more than I do now. Billy, um, Hunt, Billy Hunt says 25 across might be ETs. ET supposed crop circle makers for short. I like that. And good yeah. use of the, the, the for short here too to indicate that we need the shortening in the answer, right? So yes, absolutely. We've got stars, a 10 down. Financial incentive for an executive to stay at a company. Whew, that's a mouthful. <laughs> you know, that one, I I knew, I thought it would have to be the opposite of a golden parachute, which is a financial incentive for an executive to leave a company. Mm -hmm. And this had, just based on the letter pa pattern, I thought had to be golden handcuffs. So I like the so golden <laughs> fits, yeah. but... I, I like the idea of doing gold in here, but what are we going to do about handcuffs, parachute, maybe whichever we could, one it is? Maybe we could draw the handcuffs in really small. Or I think the parachute's actually easier to draw if we just ignore the It, it really part. is. But you know what? I, I told people at the beginning that this was not a rebus. Well, how? We needed this to fit into the grid somehow. I so why, know, wouldn't but... it, why wouldn't it be a rebus? Uh, well, uh, just, just momentarily off topic, a lot of people are saying, could 10 down be A-listers? Oh, I like that. Let's throw that in. Let's uh, do that. Jim Brennan, Bruce Giordano, Marilyn Johnson. That's okay too, Deb, because I, I think this, the uh, borderline rhetorical yeah. question there, I want the solvers to see that just if something doesn't fit into a grid the way you expect it to, that right. doesn't necessarily mean that it's the rebus. And oh. multiple answers go in a single square. There might dun, be so many dun, dun. sorts of trickery on a Thursday. And this is just another example of that to keep you on your toes just when you think you've seen it. Absolutely. Up. Now, we have a solver named ENH mm -hmm. who says that they had a little trouble getting started, too. And I suppose seven across is something used to wrap a sandwich. PETA, maybe. Now, I don't know how much of a lag we have here, E-N-H, but we already have the letters O-G-A typed in. So it's blank O-G-A. Now, because it's Thursday, <laughs> the clue it's a wrap cannot be taken literally, even though there's no question mark there. It is obviously a noun that we're looking for. And we're looking for a wrap, which also made me hungry because it made me think of a sandwich. But it turns out that yep. there are other kinds of wraps. And Rev Mike Cohn has it. It's a toga. It's a toga. But again, yeah, like I actually, I quite like that guess for Pete, especially blank, 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 A. For it's a wrap, I would throw in Peta myself. Like that's just a I would, yeah. It's, it's, I, I think that is, it's a perfectly cromulent answer. Exactly. Even though I couldn't put it better myself. In this puzzle, it just happens not to be the right one, but you were on the right track, ENH, so keep going. Keep going, exactly. Well said. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, see. We've what got else a lunar we phenomenon. We've got RX dosages, ah. abbreviations. So the answer is going to be an abbreviation. So that, throw that S in there. I was going to say, we know it's a plural, so let's drop that in. Right. Maybe plural, in the plural, plural in the answer. Hey, what if it was, uh, you know, I thought it might be a teaspoon, but it's not always about imperial <laughs> measurements. <laughs> what if it was, what if it was, according to the rest of the world, anyway. Um, what if it was milligrams? Oh, I like that. Not CCs. Um, <laughs> I'm glad. Kathy Odahan just noticed that there were black squares in this puzzle. <laughs> wow. She says, oh, 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 the black squares. Oh. And she, she's she gotten it. We're not going to give it away quite yet, Kathy, because we're kind of early days here. But um, Lots of, but that's a good hint. Notice yeah. the black squares in this puzzle. Right. Again, part of our goal on the editorial side, Will Shorts, Joel Falion, and myself, and our two new associate puzzle editors who we'll get to shortly. Yes. Um, we like keeping you on your toes. J again, right. just when you think you've seen every trick in the book that the Thursday Times crossword has to offer. Nope. New brilliant, we can't even take credit for this. It's all the brilliant constructors that send us work, that come up with these, these 
crazy ideas that we never would have thought of ourselves. They say, what about this trick? Yeah. It's like, like, absolutely. It's like I tell uh, solvers and also the developers on our team, suspect everything. Yep. Do not count, discount anything. It could happen. Exactly. Uh, if, if, if it's possible, a constructor will figure it out. We'll figure out how to do it. That, that's so, the goal, at least. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bruce Giordano thinks 21 down is sub. I like that. That's again, yes, just with that not, S alone that was able to give us that, you know? Well, so. yes, if you are not thinking about food because, oh, actually, I'm sorry, if you are not you thinking, are thinking about, about I was thinking about food. <laughs> um, if you weren't thinking about, say, superheroes. Yes, exactly. But tough. I'm always thinking about food. So this one Same. was easy for me. <laughs> but it's so it turns out you have to be able to think laterally. What else could hero mean? Well, it's also a kind of sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, Janine Brennan says 26 across might be aphid. Garden pest is an aphid. Nice work. I like I that. I hose a lot of them off my bushes in, in the summertime. So, yes, they, they eat everything. You know what else uh, that helps us with? I was just going to say that five down, subcontracted without. It gives ah. us a D there at the last letter. And we know that it's past tense in the clue. So, so again, it's that's always got to be an E there. There's got to be an E there. Exactly. Love it. The Love little it. tricks that gain you real estate when you're solving puzzles. It helps <laughs> just that much. Look at look at us go, man. We're 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 into this. We're really on a good we've got momentum now. We're cruising. Um, Michael Kruszynski says gold end. Gold. I so it it could be. I mean, we were talking about be. let's see. That fits. It would. But we're talking, I feel like it's gotta be golden something. Like it's gotta be yeah. one of the golden handcuffs. Right. Probably golden handcuffs to, to stay at a company, but how can we fit it into the grid? Right. I think Michael That's might have figured out the answer here. I, huh. I don't know. Sorry. Take it away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, we'll come back to it. Jillian Powell says a held up is born at uh, 29 across. That's right. Right. Like in the Lion King, I guess. <laughs> and uh, Janine Brennan agrees with farmed. Krishna Prasad thinks that 23 across could be serum. Non-clotting blood component is serum. Indeed. There you go, Krishna. You see? Now, here's, yeah. something, here's something interesting, Deb. Six down. Yes. Major Nashville landmark. Oh. But it adds five letters, as we see, and it ends in G-R. That's weird. I feel like, I don't know. Admittedly, I think I've been to Tennessee maybe twice in my life. Especially pathetic for a I've native. Never, yeah, Virginia. I've never seen that. Um, but blank, blank, blank GR really is not bringing it, ringing any bells for a major no. landmark. Could they mean another Nashville? It could, maybe it's another Nashville. You know what? Again, never rule <laughs> anything there, out in the cross. Is there any other place, you know, is, could there be another Nashville? I don't think so. <laughs> um, Valeria Silvestri is with us. Billy Ha says 55 across is yum. Nothing but three letter words for me. <laughs> I love <laughs> Hey, but no. you know what? That's the best. That's one of the best ways to get started. You know, if you say, it okay, is. I don't know any of the fill in the blanks. Okay, I don't know any of the names. Let's start with the shorter answers that are less daunting and probably yes. have more limited possibilities. You know that the you, know, you solve enough of those, you've solved a good chunk of the puzzle and, and it can help you branch out from there. So don't discount those three letter words. Exactly. So say, Deb, what do you yeah. think 46 down might be? Blank, blank, why? Well, say, I think it could be say. You could say that. I could. I could say that. A lot of people uh, have say. now said that one across is thrift. Thrift. Savings bank informally is thrift. Yep. And Valerius is 14 across is hooray. Hooray. Or I'm that actually going to, in this case, hurrah. Like, hurrah. But hurrah. either one just as fine, just has to work with the crosser. You know? Right. So now we yeah. have PH blank GR. That's even harder. 
Hmm. It wants to be like the GR, but I don't know what the GR is. Is that a short I name don't for like well, the Grand Ole Opry? Try, or? try well, forty-two down. What would forty-two down be? Oh well, uh, it's one of our blank clues. So yeah, that's not going to help us so much. Should we finish the top left corner? I think so. Let's, here? let's try seventeen across. Pop up generator. Of course, my mind went to baseball, but it is not baseball related. Mine, mine goes to uh, ways to keep my electricity going in a storm. <laughs> my, my neck, mine went to toasters next. Yes, <laughs> I think in this case, though, it would be adware. Ah, uh, that's the one, and there that gives go. us. So you were right. It is the GR. It is the GR, but that's we got Thaw, we've got Rose, the G. Huh. The, is is it something related to the Grand Ole Opry? I mean, that's the only thing that's coming to mind. We've got GR. I think so, uh, but how do how do you fit that in? Well, you don't. There's no rebuses in this puzzle. You know what? Then? I think we should, I think it's the Gur. The Gur. Think, that's that's yeah. how I'm feeling. I I've got a mad case of the Gur because I can't. Gur. This third. Yes. Ken Deckman says, I love how you two feign ignorance when you already know the answer is great acting. Thank you very much, Ken. I would like I appreciate to, it. it, it it's, it's hard to continue. Nominated. Like really? <laughs> I got Kathy, to look at this puzzle like nine months ago, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Kathy, if that's the problem, is it's all new to us because we forget. <laughs> I, I did this one a couple of days ago. Uh, Kathy O has the answer, though. Should Should we spill it? Do we want? I kind I kind of want to wait a little. Long. Shout out to Kathy. I okay. feel like we want to wait. Like we haven't. How about this, Deb? Let's at least go to thirty nine across. Okay. <gasps> Revealer, plus Helpful. with a hint of four pairs of answers in this puzzle. I guess that's what the dashes have to do with. But what does plus mean? Four hey, pairs. Look, you know what? There's those two plus signs right on either side of of it. Oh, so wow, the grid the art, you squared. say. Uh-huh. Ah. Well, what does is, what is plus mean? What, is, what could this mean? Ad, it could mean add? It could mean... Well, some. Plus doesn't mean... It could mean some. Those kind of feel like they're in the ball. Like, I wouldn't directly substitute plus for add unless, like, maybe you say, can you plus one to... Uh, that sounds Yeah. Weird. Maybe, like... What do you mean when you plus one? Are, are you... You you are adding something. You you're giving it a thumbs up. But uh, Bruce Giordano's got it. What what do, what do we have? Bruce Giordano says thirty nine across is and a n d. Yeah. So it's like Sim plus Deb hosting crosswords live. Excuse That's me, exactly. Per, per, um, yeah, holding X, X words live. X words live. Indeed, <laughs> the shorthand. But so so that's thanks and. to Papio for that joke. <laughs> With it, but the, okay, so we have and a and d with a hint of four pairs of answers in this puzzle. What do we got? Well, 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 well. I think that since we have the gr at uh, six down, and it's a hint to four pairs of puzzles, we know that that one is a theme answer because it's followed by the dashed answer. Or so that's like the pair, like this one and that form of Right. Pair. So this you one... could put, theoretically, Sam, just follow me on this. I'm trying. I'll do my best. Okay. You could put, or old opera, I forget which one. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then the three black squares in between the Gur and old opera would be your and, that plus sign you swap out the plus sign for and, so it's the Grand Ole Opry. The Grand Ole, oh my gosh. It's, right? See, this is the thing, like, you just, every so often, you just need to get your brain broken a little and bit. How, That's part yeah. of the fun, right? How, how are we supposed to know that, Sam? That's So that's the thing, is your mind's solvers, no matter if you're a Monday, Tuesday solver, or you're a, I like to solve my Saturdays under 10 minutes. Your oh. minds, when solving puzzles, are way more flexible he's, than he's you give yourself very, credit. very unusual. Please don't feel bad if you don't solve a Saturday in 10 minutes. This is what I say on Wordplay all the time. Super solvers are weird. They do they, this. We, we are. Yeah. But, 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 I don't um, count myself as one. I don't time myself. But um, <laughs> I, I just, I like to enjoy myself 
when I'm solving a puzzle. So, uh, you know, if it takes me an hour, that's okay. That's you know, as long as I've had a good time, but it's also fun to time yourself. But So in any case, no matter what level solver you are, my point is that your brains are more flexible than you think you are and no. can work with more than you think in this very puzzle. Sometimes you might just need to put it down and come back and look at it again. Our goal as the editors is to give you just enough to work with without, you know, hitting you over the head with right. it. We it's, think we it, did this today, but it is tricky. It is it is tricky, but it is fair, If depending on how you define fair. <laughs> there are people on Wordplay who have totally different versions no of what fair. fair than I do. So Billy Ha has another one. He has yeah. the one at nine down, says it's golden H plus or and cuffs, golden handcuffs. Oh, that's so, that's so interesting. So it's almost, you know, it's kind of cool. It's almost like reading these black squares is like A and D. Right. A and D. So you know what that means. You know what that means. It gets better, Deb. It, it let's, has, look at, it, let's look at 34 uh, across. All right. I got this now. I got this now. Tributary of the Potomac. <laughs> and it spans all the way over to here. A well, and D. I'll tell you, in uh, 35 across, I would put in, after the R, I'd put in I-V-E-R, just, just for giggles. So like Bon Iver. Right. Bon Iver. <laughs> well, no, if it's a tributary, it's probably was with that R going to be a river. Okay, I like that thing. Um, uh, now, this one would have been a, how am I supposed to know this even without the trick? But uh, since you are from uh, Baltimore at some point in your life, you probably, this was a gimme, right? This this would have been how I not only am from the DMV, shout out to everybody from the DMV on the stream. Um, <laughs> this would not only have been a gimme, my family actually used to have some quaint little cabin in rural oh. Virginia right along the Shenandoah River. Used to go stand out on the dam. Fun nice. memories. Anyway, I won't project any longer. It's Not that river okay. we, love, we, we love the flashbacks, you know? Flashbacks. Perfect. <laughs> we like, we no, like it when solvers connect to the puzzle somehow, honestly. So there's Absolutely. something to for that. Absolutely. Uh, um, we have uh, Kathy O, who is saying that 41 across is a oh. ragwood sandwich. Which I think would S A N D, which and that right. clue was food item whose name is derived from a comic strip. That's a fun and, clue too. Yeah, it makes it, it was derived from Blondie. Her husband was Dagwood, and he always made these huge things that you would have to unhinge your jaw to eat, and they were also these long subs, if you will. We prefer to unhinge your jaw with Tough Thursday crossword themes and stuff. Yes, stick your teeth <laughs> into that. You can Maryland, absorb them as a loss. I think so. Marilyn Johnson says 27 down is file, F, I'm sorry, P-H-I-A-L, which is an alternative spelling, but okay. We have a lot of um, science-inspired crossword themes on file right now. Oh, that's good. I like, we love science. <laughs> Going for the, the, the womp womp. Right. Um, womp womp. <laughs> um, James... Void commitment. Yeah, James C. says 33 down is bros, which is close. Oh, I like brass, just as we uh, have that H says. Honestly, tough, tough word to clue. Tough yeah. To clue. I kind of just use it as like, hey, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't really use this much, but I know. Um, more like a salutation than a, a synonym, if you will. <laughs> But I, I think so. Um, Janine Brennan says 32 down is Petco. Teen where you can buy wet or dry food. I love that. That's another I like one. That that too. Put some imagery in your mind, right? We've got, we've got Marilyn Johnson who says that the one other, aside on the right, to the right of the one she just guessed, is Hedge at 28 down. There are Hedge. This hits. Um, that cross is one of my favorite clues in the pub. Go to 20, is it 27? 37, 37 across, sorry. I'm, I've got old eyes here. Starts to decamp. Now, I love, mark. I love some uh, question mark clues. Um, 
to decamp means to tear down camp and leave. So if you start to decamp, it means you're starting to take the camp apart, right? Mm -hmm. Unless, unless starts could have a different meaning. Like prefixes or leads like, in yeah. to this word. Yes, that's a very common crossword trick, a, a cluing trick, especially later in the week. How about aids de camp? A -D tricky, a -I -D -E tricky, tricky. We actually very waffled tricky. over this clue for quite some time. Because I, would, <laughs> I was like, is this going to be too hard or is I was just going to miss the joke? I, I felt like one that was so. too good I, not to use. Honestly, I have a lot of faith in our solvers. I really do. You're right. I, I should have more faith. people. Um, now we have 40 across. Janine Brennan says is sort of, kind of. Ish. Ish. Sort of. That's a great We've been using word. that combo a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Valeria says uh, 31 down in Afu. Avril, spring month in Paris. Mm -hmm. Now go to 31 across for a sec. Oh, good. <laughs> I remember everything I just said about fairness in the crossword. I take it back <laughs> because... <laughs> Uh, in-flight announcement for sure uh, makes you think about something you might hear on an airplane, like when you're due to land or, you know, fast. Hand up for ETA. Hands yeah. up. Put them ETA up. ETA or ETD. Um, in this case, because there is a question mark, the in-flight announcement is not something you would hear on a plane. It is something that you would hear when someone is in flight or on the lam. Okay, everybody, everybody with me. Oh. Um, so the answer would be APB or All Points Bulletin, which is the announcement that the police put out when somebody is on the lam. Exactly. So let's see. We've got, how about, this was a, kind of a tricky clue. How, very sneaky tricky. Housekeeping uh, a couple of 101. People. Oh, housekeeping 101. That is, a, but a lot of people are uh, shouting 49 across. Oh, do tell. Oh, tacos, like which is right above yum. <laughs> Into, yum. Tacos. Soba. We've That's a go. Not pita. We Back almost had sandwich. Let's see. What else? How about, ooh, interesting word. Nimbi? Nimbi. Nimbi. I guess you said. Nimbi? I thought it was like not in my back. I A D. It's the Italian for yard. Oh. Um, um, but no. What about 36 down? Don't listen to him. The Midwest tribe. The Iowas? The Iowas. Okay. I like that angle there. Very good. Uh, Bruce Giordano's 38 down is soft boil. That's a nice one. Prepare runny is so much tasty stuff in this puzzle. Yes. Prepare yeah. runny as an egg is so I'm getting, oil. I'm getting a little full, to be honest. We haven't even eaten the Dagwood sandwich. No, we, we haven't. It, there's, uh, currently, there's currently what resembles a toothpick in the middle of it. There you go. <laughs> Told it together. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Thoughtless sender of emails. Now, my first thought when I when I saw this clue was an article that one of our colleagues, Daniel Victor, once wrote, where, where the headline was, if I am on an email chain list, should I hit reply all? <laughs> and the high text of the article was just the word no. <laughs> because we had just been through something like that where the reply alls just were endless. But in this case, um, because it's a question mark clue, I'm going to go with spam bot. Oh, because well, well. A, bot, a bot is not sentient, as far as we know, and it would therefore be thoughtless. It's just doing it just to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Billy Hogg guessed it, and he graduated from the three-letter words. Good for well you, done. Billy. There we go. Yeah. Um, we've got, uh, Marilyn Johnson says 47 across is halos. Halos are the nimbi, nimbi, not in my oh, eye. I was expecting. All right. I think I know, I think I know 47 now. What are you at? Um, housekeeping 101 would be a class and they don't offer it that much anymore, but it would be home ec. Home ec. Look at those two E's, man. I was going to say, preceding the E before E. 
except before C. No. Yeah. Um, then we've got, let's see, we've got F on a form. We've got, uh, I, what I, I'm I, think, about. I think I can answer that one. Go for it, please. Female. That's the one. Done, done that a lot. Um, we have Nancy Burke Osborne who says 63 across is yes, sirree. Indubitably. <laughs> yes, sirree. I like that. Well done. That's a fun answer in across your good. There's some, it really so much is. great it's stuff. Nice right in. Then we've got, and, oh, I like this angle, like the browser windows of a multitasker. Well, I think the last word is going to be open. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So what do they do? What open? Uh, stay open? Maybe? No, clock, wait. Keep clock open. On the right yeah, track. Clock. There was a point at which, you know, things are a little bit better now, but, you know, I would be like by 930 in the morning, I'd have like 66 tabs open on, on my this, computer. This, this should come as a shock, seeing as how disorganized I am. I am, I've never been a tab hoarder. I can't, I can't do it. I, I can't do more than like five tabs in my browser at once. And I, I need inbox <laughs> zero too. Which is yeah. Cool. It, 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 it feels sort of like, you know, when your desk is all disorganized and crammed, I, I need a clean working space <laughs> even virtually. I agree. Meanwhile, my desk is not uh -oh. quite like my he's, computer browser. So that's why I say a this is a surprise. But. <laughs> It was nicely cleared off right before this crossword stream. I'm so. sure it was. I'm sure it was. Uh -huh. All right, let's get back to this. Nancy Burke Osborne says 51 is Scottish. Like, whoop. Oops. Scottish Isle connected by road bridge to the mainland in the 1990s. That's such an interesting thing to learn. It is. I like that. Very cool. I love learning new things from crosswords. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. I don't know why. In case, and in that case, I think that uh, 50, I'm sorry. 59? Nine across, yes, is keep open. Keep kept, but oh, yes. Oh, open, I'm sorry, it is. Only, only because it's an adjective phrase. But tough, what? it's actually tough to even include it as like a participle adjectival phrase, however you want to. I'm I'm not yeah. the, you're you're the you're the columnist. I'm the I'm the crossword person. Yeah, but I, I don't I use don't grammar. That. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> grammar grammar is really overrated. It, it's so overrated. You just got to public language. I right? try to convince my copyright editors of that, but they're just not having it. <laughs> we uh, got a new nice conversation about whether or not Earth is capitalized. That was oh, great. yeah. Yeah, and I turned out to be wrong, didn't I? <laughs> so I don't even, I still don't even know what the right answer is, to be honest. Let that uh, listen to you. <laughs> don't <laughs> listen to me. Uh, very curious on 56 across, Valeria says. Very hmm. curious on 50. Pop. That's, that is a curious clue because yeah. there's so many different ways to define it. You almost want a letter or two, right? Right. Pop. I think I do. I, I think I'd like to solve one of the downs just to get a little more of a grip. How about this crazy, crazy clue? That is a great clue. And I got it just because I'm not even that great at anagrams, but I knew that this was going to be an anagram. Well, because of the clue. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but I could see it. It's got to be Dali. Salvador be Dali. Dali. Anagrams, well, Avida dollars. Normally, uh, derisive nicknames and puzzles aren't really my... Uh cup of tea but Oof. i thought this one was pretty funny so <laughs> avida dollars who knew why yeah, is really? that derisive what does that mean is uh, that actually does avida actually I think, no i think that uh it was it, it was sort of ridiculing him because they felt he had sold out okay that makes sense so uh, uh, let's see we have marilyn johnson who says 65 across is eek just squeeze which, out, you know, that yeah. out parens follows which, the answer and the rest of the clue to make sense. Which is, uh, gives us apps that Billy Hogg got. And uh, Bruce Giordano says 57 down is alms. The Thursday crossword Church. puzzle. There's an app yeah. for that. There you go. Heritable uh, giving is alms. Uh, Asia Reed agrees with Dolly and okay. ENH says 42 down is meh verbal shrug oh with 62 there we go verbal shrug oh, is meh. nice work gosh we yeah. have only what seven more letters now this this is incredible let's, let's bring this one home let's bring uh, it home. marilyn johnson says 56 across his dad oh, that's pop. the pop we're looking for that's the pop hey, okay pop. 
Uh, James C says 64 across is feel it. Or it's feel it. Close. I, I like feel it, but now that we have the end here, I think there's a better one. It's feel me, I think. Feel but me. I was really close, James. Very yeah, close. that was great. And we've got Bruce Giordano uh, coming in and causing a schism at uh, <laughs> 67 across. Crossing deem is consider, considered right. to be, deemed to be. Tricky. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, Kind of disease with a telltale bullseye rash. A bullseye wow. rash. Well, then. That would be Lyme disease. That would be Lyme disease. So not, not, all, not all cases of Lyme have the bullseye. Ask me how I know that. Oh. <laughs> um, but uh, no, it's okay. Fortunately, I was treated in time. But um, it's uh, it's it's a possibly team, and we've got Nay. What, what was That's the clue? With with uh, Elizabeth Warren. And I didn't know Elizabeth. her maiden name was Herring. Elizabeth Herring once. Now Elizabeth. Warren. Yeah. Valeria oh. and Marilyn both got that one. Now we've got twenty four down. Looks like a pretty pretty one. I like that lunar phenomenon. Oh, that that's not like a verb phrase. It's you don't moon it to somebody. <laughs> Moons no. it. Moons it. Yeah. <laughs> Moons well, it. we have to include that way in in the puzzle. Is, the moon is, is is cheeky, so to speak. Oh, that's that's the yeah. answer I always use, right? I'm got, um, I'm drinking that tea. <laughs> <laughs> that tea's very caffeinated. Okay, I'm more caffeinated than I thought. Um, um, now we've got one more. We're going to put in the last letter, and then we'll reopen the puzzle and go over the theme because it's it's worth another go over. Uh, runs. That's it's interesting, interesting Deb. You almost need the crosser for this one because it could be fleas, and it could also you could make the argument for it to be flies, like runs yeah. by super quickly. So maybe check in this drink suffix. Well, that's got to be a d e. That's a, a. There we go. Yes, Asia, you were very close with that. Asia grow, uh, guessed flows, which is good because that's that good would a do, but it doesn't match uh, the clues in the puzzle. So good guess. Keep trying. I see you got lime. That was terrific. Excellent. Uh, Billy Ha says, I just broke my rule and completed the puzzle on my browser and recorded the time. <laughs> there, are there rules in crosswords? That this is whatever yeah. you want to do. This is this is what we say we care about. to paraphrase Will Wang, who was one of I think he was the second or second, second editor, editor of the New York Times crossword. It's your puzzle. Enjoy it any way you want to. Exactly. Um, Valeria loved the puzzle. It was worth loving, Valeria. I think this was really cool. And again, to it, it's even better when you realize that this was somebody's first published New York Times crossword puzzles. So to make a debut like this uh, shows a lot of possibility. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing more from Simeon Sabel. So As are we. Briefly through the, uh, through the theme. Yeah, let's do it. So we've got, inter every now and then, we're going to trip you up with a new Thursday idea you haven't seen before. That's the way it is, no matter what level of sovereign you are. Here, it's all about the word and visually represented as the plus sign. So four pairs of answers in this puzzle are separated by these pluses, but really it's to disguise the word and, A and D, that has been which, hidden to connect them. Which so we've got very quietly between the two plus signs. What's that? Oh yeah, exactly, right? It's <laughs> hiding right there. There's the grand old opera. Right. There's golden handcuffs. There's the Shenandoah River mm -hmm. and the Dagwood Sandwich. All, by the way, it is worth noting that the constructor, Simeon Sagal, didn't just get this to work in terms of the construction. This is something we tell constructors a lot to think about. If you're thinking about making puzzles, make sure it doesn't just work. It didn't just hold together. But all four of these phrases are super lively and interesting have to, to be, uncover. They, in they all rep, have to you know? sparkle. They and all have to sparkle. You know, it's funny because when I was constructing, I was not a prolific constructor. And that's because I could come up with a lot of themes, but I was not necessarily convinced that they all hung together or that they were uh, all winners. So I wouldn't submit them. 
I didn't submit them just because I formed a theme set. Um, I, I think it's important. And when I was being trained under C. Solomon, who is a veteran mentor in the business and has ushered probably a thousand people to publication yeah, right. at this point, um, you know, she would really, really get on me to polish the, the, um, theme set and make sure that every single one of the entries sparkled. Exactly. Because that's the skeleton that really holds the puzzle together. If they're not interesting and your and your fill surrounding it is not interesting, it's going to be a boring puzzle to solve. And exactly. that's, not, that's not why constructors make puzzles. They make puzzles to entertain. So it's worth working on. Exactly. And, all, and to that end, you talked about the fill. One thing that just really, really put this over the edge, even if the theme was a little heady for you, you know, where you say, oh, I didn't know the Shenandoah River golden handcuffs. This wasn't as fun for me. Can't tell Stav to like what you do and don't know. Um, but we've got stuff like Apollo 11, Believers, TV Stand, a Spambot kept open, yes sorry. interesting Feel words me. like female excuse me, can get good clues. Feel me, home ec. I mean, my gosh, there's so much cool stuff in this puzzle. Yeah. Simeon's made it entertaining from start to finish, and we hope you felt that same way. Absolutely. So. And if you are thinking about uh, making a puzzle uh, of your own, uh, please check in to either uh, the Cruciverb group on Facebook or the Crossword Puzzle Collaboration Directory, which is targeted more toward underrepresented groups like women, um, BIPOC, uh, LGBTQ people who have traditionally or historically not been represented as much in crossword puzzles. Um, and if you are not old, you can submit crossword puzzles online to the New York Times now. Sam, what is that address? Yeah. Oof. Oh, I'm That's, sorry. No, it's okay. No. I wish I knew it off the top of my head. If well, you Google... there is, if, if you Google um, the, uh, the address, like the, the URL for the form, it's just, if you search New York Times crossword puzzle submissions, you will be able to go to a right. web page that tells you everything about submitting to the puzzles for the New York Times, what we look for, our specifications, and there is an online applet within that page that allows you to submit a puzzle to us through our online system. It's right. really cool. We Our goal is to get back to you within 90 days on your puzzle. Hopefully less than that. Hopefully. down the street. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a lot that's, of submissions. That's actually that, that's actually a really good segue. I was going to say, hopefully getting back to quicker conditional on how well our larger team works together. I just wanted to say really quickly, we have some really exciting news on the New York oh, Times yeah. editorial team. This we is, have this hired, is sort of the, the kind of thing that makes Sam sob with joy. <laughs> sob, I mean, not forget my workload. I'm just so excited to work with Same. these two people whose work I've admired for quite some time. We have officially hired um, Winna Lou and Tracy Bennett, if you know their names, or if you don't, you will soon, as two Both new associate puzzle record. editors for The Times to yes. join Will, Joel, and myself to make a big dream team of people who's very excited to tailor the work, to That's tailor right. the puzzles to you. So. And uh, Winna started, I think the other day was her first day, mm -hmm. and Monday was her first day, and Monday, this coming Monday, is Tracy's first day. Exactly. We welcome them to the New York Times Games team, and uh, I, you know, I know that they're going to uh, help make the puzzles better than ever. You can, if you want to see a sample of, if you want to read more about Tracy or Winna, I know the Wordplay Twitter account here has tweeted out the special constructor portraits on both of them. That ran as recently as, well, yesterday for Winna. Tracy, yeah. as I know, was earlier in 2019. I also, on my own Twitter, at The Grid Kid, posted links to a couple of their standout puzzles I felt would be a good representation of their work they've done for the That's right. Well, Tracy is one of the uh, editors of the Incubator puzzles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, Winna has uh, worked with the AV Club, ABCX uh, Club, and The New Yorker. Yep, she'll still be a, a regular contributor to uh, the New Yorker's puzzle rotation, too, which is really cool. So, yep. yeah, please check out some of their work on either of our Twitter accounts if you haven't already. Read more about them. We're super excited to bring them onto the team and make, you know, the more voices we have on our team, the better. It's going to make Absolutely. for some better puzzles. We're super Absolutely. excited. 
Yeah, absolutely. Rev Mike Cohn says, this was so fun. Great way to start paid time off. Love y'all. Love Ooh. you too, Mike. Have a wonderful vacation. Uh, Billy Ha is just as excited as we are for Winna and uh, Tracy to join. And uh, we wanted to thank you so much for joining us today. Yep. Uh, it was it was a fun but tough puzzle, but we got through it together, and we that's did. important. That's what it's all about solving together. Uh, we'd like you to tune in again next week when uh, our guest will be a, the stand-up comedian Eliza Schlesinger. Eliza's coming back; she's, she's already back. Done and is Woo. really geared up to uh, solve with us again. And we are very much looking forward to that. And that's uh, next Thursday, the twenty fourth, also at one p.m. Eastern. Uh, so thank you again. Uh, we wish you a happy Thursday. This is Deb Amlin and Sam Mazursky for the New York Times saying happy solving. Have a good one, everybody.